Nostra Aetate number three also says that the Catholic Church looks upon Muslims with respect, who seek to submit themselves to God wholeheartedly, just as Abraham did. But Vatican II's admiration for the infidel Muslims is not shared by the Catholic Church. The Church desires the conversion and eternal happiness of all the Muslims, but she recognizes that Islam is a horrible and false religion, and she does not pretend that they submit themselves to God. She knows that they belong to a false religion. Pope Eugene IV, Council of Basel. There is hope that very many from the abominable sect of Muhammad will be converted to the Catholic faith. Pope Clement V, Council of Vienne. It is an insult to the holy name and a disgrace to the Christian faith that the followers of Islam, also called Muslims in their temples or mosques, meet to adore the infidel Muhammad. This brings disrepute on our faith and gives great scandal to the faithful. These practices cannot be tolerated without displeasing the divine majesty. We enjoin on Catholic princes one and all they are to forbid expressly the public invocation of the sacrilegious name of Muhammad. From these quotes, one can see that the Catholic Church does not esteem the Muslims. Vatican II likewise has great esteem for apostate Jews. Nostra Aetate number 4. Since therefore the spiritual heritage common to Christians and Jews is so great, this synod wishes to promote and recommend that mutual knowledge and esteem which is required especially from biblical and theological studies and from friendly dialogues. Nostra Aetate number 4.